This is going to sound incredible. But it just really occurred to me. I don't know why I didn't see this before. But it just, it's like, ding, light bulb moment in my head. There are people on YouTube, and I'm assuming other social media platforms, maybe TikTok's the same way. I'm not on TikTok. I'm sorry, I'm not. Chinese, Chinese Communist Party product, you know, it's a, whatever. Not that Google's much better, but hey, got to draw the line somewhere. But there are people on YouTube and TikTok and whatever that the entirety of, I guess, their business platform <clears throat> is to make videos about other people's videos. And then there's a whole nother, and then there's a third layer to that, that there are, there are people that will make videos about the other person's video about somebody else's video. I mean, and it just seems like it's this gigantic circle jerk. But I guess it's, I guess some people are making money on it. I think this is what Rick Richard Barris, and maybe it's not his term, but he's who I learned it through. Um, rent seeking behavior. It's almost like a type of grift. It's that the the person who's they're not really they're not really contributing anything. They're they're piggybacking off of someone else's labor or productivity, rent seeking. I, I don't know why they call it rent seeking. I'll, I'll look it up and get back to you. But it's just, and that's fine. I guess people are looking at it. People are, people are like, oh, well, let me go. I'm going to, I'm going to watch so-and-so's video about so-and-so's video. And, uh, seems like they're, 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 there's a lot of drama going, going on. You know, it's, people seem to be really, really motivated by getting however many subscribers and likes. And I mean, I myself have commented on certain things, but I'm not trying to make money off of it. I'm not. And I wasn't really commenting on somebody else's video i was commenting upon a situation look at me making excuses for myself but i'm not i'm not trying to make it my business okay i'm not i have two youtube channels neither one of them monetized neither one and and subscriber numbers very low very low and i don't really care i don't really care Chances are, at some point in the future, my life will change, and I will probably just completely, I'll, I'll probably quit making videos, and I'll just go back to doing other stuff, because my one, this, this channel, I've had for a long, long time, and it was strictly a, I used it to watch videos channel, until a couple years, well, mostly last year. And now this year, I started making videos, but it's never been my thing. I could, I could never make this my business. No, I couldn't. That's, that's, that's not the type of stuff that's going to work for me. Mm -mm. Giving people my two cents upon occasion. Okay. But th this is more of a manifestation of what is going on in my life right now because before before the narcissist that's what i call him on my other channel before the person i was involved with 
I didn't really feel the need to make videos, but for some reason, when all that, when all of that stuff hit the fan, the first time and this second time, it's an outlet for me. So, just my two cents. I rambled. Yeah, seems to be like there's a whole there's a whole economy out there of people, of of there's people making videos and there's people that make videos commenting about other people's videos and then there's the the critics of the critics and maybe there's maybe there's more you know there's probably layer upon layer upon layer stuff so i just think i thought it was interesting that there are people that's their whole business model their whole business model is i'm going to make videos talking about other people's videos and yeah it's original content commentary seems to be the uh, maybe easier way out versus whatever I'll let it go because people are going to criticize me and go well what the heck have you done not much peace out people